concerns and reasons to stay in good contact is to be on the alert for elder abuse. And it can come in many forms. It's actually, I didn't realize that it's such a global problem and that the UN is addressing this and very concerned about it. In the U.S. alone, they say there are 700,000 to <coughs> over a million elderly people who are being abused. And the emotional part of it is that um, they're vulnerable. Like, I have a girlfriend whose father is alone, and this lovely 60-year-old lady came in and is taking care of him and writing checks on his checkbook, and, you know, just... Happens all the time. Yes preventing, you know, fraud, and she had a very hard time getting her out of the house because he was connected to her, mm -hmm. and he liked her, and it was so hard for her to say, you know, but Dad, look what's happening. She had to be strong, and she was able to protect him and get this woman out of the house. So all I'm saying is not to be fearful, but be very alert to this problem. And with our loved ones, if they start getting depressed or more isolated or not wanting to visit you or no food in the refrigerator when you get there, and of course bruises, let's hope that that doesn't happen. And of course you can always call Adult Protective Services and be persistent about that, or even the police if you need to. So not to get fearful, but just to make you aware of that. We talked a bit, I talked earlier about emotions, and I'd like to just spend a little more time and brainstorm with you. What are some of the emotions that you start feeling when you know your parent, mom or dad, is starting to go downhill? Um, obviously sad and vulnerable. Some of us don't take the time. How many people are super strong people and they don't like to be sad? But it's a, it's a normal, normal part of what's happening. Anger, frustration. You mentioned siblings. What? My sister's doing that with her? Or why isn't she there more often? And these kinds of things. And of course, all the family dynamics can get, you know, increased and exacerbated in this situation. Have any of you had that experience? Yeah. They get more intense, whatever was happening. And let me ask you because you're in the trenches on some of these. What are some of the other feelings you might be feeling during this process of knowing your parent is dying? For one thing, I always hated it when I went home and my friends 